Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. You know, I have this really weird habit. No matter where I go in the world, I always check out the local all-you-can-eat buffet scene. Uh, I don't know why I do this. Um, maybe it's because I grew up in a Chinese restaurant, not just a Chinese restaurant, but a Chinese buffet restaurant. So maybe I'm trying to, I don't know, recapture my childhood or embrace that warm feeling of nostalgia. Okay, it's really because I eat a lot. And right now, this is so exciting because there are certain things that I just love. You know, spicy food, hot pot, dim sum, all you you can eat and I love it even more when we can combine those things so right now I am headed to an all-you-can-eat dim sum buffet and it's not just any all-you-can-eat dim sum buffet it's an uber luxurious all-you-can-eat dim sum buffet let's go Today I am at the Yenting restaurant inside the St. Regis Hotel in Singapore. This right here, it's my holy book of dim sum. Everything in here is all you can eat. And there are no cards in this restaurant because every food item you get is made to order. But of course, something like that, it's not gonna be cheap. And if you want wine and beer, the price just goes up from there. But luckily, I don't drink, so just tea for me. I'm about to cry tears of food happiness because just like I said, there's so much stuff in this menu. And first of all, everybody gets one of these dishes. You can either have a double boiled fresh abalone soup with black garlic or lobster. Lobster right here. And there's not only the traditional dim sum dishes like the crystal shrimp dumpling. There's like upgraded dim sum like the steamed pork and shrimp dumpling with black truffle. Uh, yes please. There's also like sashimi marinated pork belly. I, I, just, I love this. I love this. Let's get started. So is anything on the menu? Yes, it's on the menu. I love this. This is this is so great. So can I please have the steamed crystal shrimp dumpling, steamed pork and shrimp dumpling with black truffles? Ooh, definitely the meat dumplings and chili oil, 100%. Trio of mushrooms with truffle. And like anything with the word truffle, I want that. Uh, cha cha bao. Definitely some chicken feet. Yeah, let's 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 bring up round one and then and then we'll go from there. Thank you so much. I hold on to this magical baby here. Oh my god. I just saw under the rice noodle section, hand pulled noodles. I, can I just sit here and order one of each item on the menu and just slowly make my way through? And this is just this is the greatest thing ever. I'm so, so happy right now. Here's to you, here's to me, and here's to you. Gun day. I just want to say, I still can't get over how crazily awesome this, this place is. It's, it's like you go into a restaurant and they hand you a menu of all exquisite food items and say, eat whatever you want, here you go. This is probably what heaven must be like. Abalone soup, oh great, in beautiful fashion. Never seen soup served in a teapot before, but that's beautiful. I was told to drink all the soup and then eat the abalone that's left inside. This is the perfect thing to start off this meal. Mm, rich abalone flavor. A little Chinese herby. It's so good. And check out the abalone in here. Look at that. Oh. I actually had the soup better than the abalone itself. Still pretty good. Mm. Also, I got some hot and sour soup. This is definitely a childhood favorite of mine. It's very thick, mushroomy. Mm. Man, that's spicy. Well, wow. hot and sour is right. Two soups, a great start, only gonna get better. This is the steamed pork and shrimp dumpling with black truffle, and they did not skimp on the black truffle. Just a little bit of spice. Happy dim sum day to me. Oh my God. Just as a shawmai on its own, that was spectacular. But add the truffle flavor and a lot of it makes it so aromatic. That's like this, this bouncy, meaty, shrimpy, truffle-y, just this concoction. <sighs> I gotta keep eating. Next is a veggie option. This is a trio of mushrooms, again, with some truffle. And I love that they have smaller serving sizes here so I can sample a lot of variety. It looks like my little dumpling character. How strictly dumpling. Again, just a little bit of spice. Oh, God. If you guys ever come here, order 30 of those. 
because that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I thought the skin would be more like the shrimp dumpling skin. It'd be chewy but thin. That skin, that was more like like mochi, like bouncy mochi, but yet not as sticky as mochi, but like a really bouncy. It's like if mochi did a lot of Pilates and the skin became really fit and tight, that was one of the best dumplings I've ever had. One of the best, most aromatic dumplings I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Man, very rarely will you in your life take a bite of something only once and know that it's gonna stick with you. That's gonna stick with me. This is just something very typical. This is a shrimp dumpling. Mm. Oh, classic dumpling, but made so well. Everything about it just screams masterful from the way this dumpling is wrapped from the beautiful, beautiful shrimp inside. Mm. Can't go wrong with that classic. I was surprised they had this. This is hot oil wonton. It's on your chow show. It's one of my most favorite food items in the food universe. And it's just soaked in this beautiful sauce. Let's definitely add some heat to it. Oh, that's good. It's not what I expected because normally a hoyo chao shou, it's just a pork dumpling. But there's pork in here, there's shrimp in here. I don't know what this is. There's beautiful veggie in here. And the sauce, it's, there's tons of Chinese vinegar. You guys know how much I love my Chinese vinegar. Mm. Oh man, it just keeps getting better. Another classic, the chao shou ball roast pork bun. Let me see what's inside this. Oh, wow. That meat in there just almost just looks like paste. Mm. The bun is fluffy, it's pillowy. The inside is just, it's just like so sweet and savory and fatty. They use a lot of fatty meat in here. You, can, you just can't not like this. <laughs> Had to get some Phoenix Claws. Chicken feet, love it with the black bean sauce. Look at that, this one in particular, this one's got a lot of meat on here. This is gonna be a great bite. It's a little salty because it's cooked with black beans, but it is unbelievably tender. Mm. I've never been known to like finish chicken feed before because and it's okay, you know, it's gelatinous, it's all right. This is, this is out of this world. Mm. This is so good. I wish chickens had more toes. And this is really cute. I saw scallion chicken on the menu. Scallion chicken is one of my favorite ways to eat chicken. Oh. If it seems like I'm liking everything I've had so far, it's because everything is ridiculously good. I mean, Oh, scallion chicken. Oh, so tender. They took the bones out of this too, so it's really no fuss here. You just put this in your mouth and just enjoy. And enjoy, I will. I got a fresh hand pulled noodle soup, and look at this. This thing is so fatty. It's already gelling on top. I can tell right away as soon as I lift it with my chopsticks. This is really bouncy. And I think there's some mushrooms in here, some pork. Excited about this. This is definitely not something you'll find at a traditional dim sum restaurant, like noodle, noodle soup. And I'm kind of kicking myself because this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And it will definitely take up some precious stomach real estate. Mm. Wow. Wow, this is good. This is really porky and fatty. I need some hot oil with this. Oh, that broth is so good. This is almost like pork ramen-esque. That is so flavorful. And check it out. Something else you don't see at a typical dim sum place. Scallion stir-fried lobster. This is gonna be way better than any typical steamed lobster. This is the Chinese way. Tons of scallion. And the Chinese way, I feel, really makes the lobster sing. How do you go wrong with that? You can't. You got the roasted pig crispy on top, soy sauce chicken, duck, cha shell. Also known as the four Chinese barbecue amigos. Okay, they don't call themselves that, but I do. All right, I gotta try a piece of this cha shell. That's all fat, that's all lean meat. Look at how saucy it is. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet, fatty. That was good cha shell. I mean, almost as good as my own recipe. This is one of my favorite things. Roasted pig, look at that. Just crispy skin, layer of fat, meat. This is everything that's good about pork. Oh, oh, huh? Oh, look at that. Mm. Key identifying factor to a great roasted pig is that the skin crackles and it just dissolves. It's like a porky assassin. It shows up, destroy its target, and then just fade away into the night. These guys are welcome at my table anytime, anytime. This is a really interesting dim sum item. Deep fried prawn with avocado. And they give me a little side of dipping sauce. So let's try this out. Oh, make sure you get this when you come here. I've never had avocado in, in like, a, like a shrimp roll or like an egg roll before, but it has a superb creamy texture. But I feel like the ace in the hole in this particular item is the wrap. I mean, look at it, it's flaky. You put it in your mouth and the outside, it's gone. It's gone in a second. And then all you're left with is just the sweet prawn and the creamy avocado, the prawncado. All right, after all that fatty food, it's, it's time to take a cucumber salad break.
Oh. But I'm not done ordering. Oh, yeah. I think I am about 10, 15 items in. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. We're working our way. Meet the two new additions to the table. Sichuan fried shrimp and Manchu style pork ribs. Deep fried golden prawns, massive ones too. Oh my God, this is beautiful. That's all about the shrimp. Sweet, tender, a little bit spicy, extremely meaty. But you know what, that's not the real way to eat this. To eat it, you gotta use your hands. And just put the whole head in your mouth and just suck on that. Mmm, juice is, mmm. I'm spurting out. Mmm, yeah. This way, you get a lot of the sauce. And that is how it's done. These are Manchu style spare ribs. Manchu, of course, uh, the Manchurians, they were the rulers of China during the Qing dynasty. The ribs look like they've been deep fried, so the outer layer is nice and crispy. Let's try this. Ah. What's really magical about these ribs is that they come in little sizes. In this way, they're completely fried throughout. And that's some of the best fun you'll have all day. Get those ribs. Highly, highly recommended. All right, guys. It's that time. Not, it's not that I, I want to finish. I've literally run out of time. Because they make everything to order, it does take a little time for food to come to your table. And plus, I had to eat it. I had to film it. I had to talk about it. So even though I, I'm not 100% full, I think I've reached the end. But that just brings us to the dessert round. The glutinous fried sesame balls are a very common thing in dim sum places, but I've never seen it look like this. First of all, they grounded the sesame, sort of like a, like a mochi-esque texture. And the whole thing is just really warm. Look at this. Huh. Wow, like a goop of sesame just fell out. This is the best version of the fried sesame balls I've ever had. And usually after I eat one of these, I mean, it's just so much oil in there, you kind of feel a little gross. But this, mm, not oily. Mm. The mochi is so delicate. And then that black sesame paste inside goes perfect with a drink of tea. Of course, dim sum. Gotta have an egg tart. Tastes like an egg tart. And this thing, look at this. This is a charcoal pastry with salted egg yolk and longyang, which is Logan, a Chinese fruit that's, that, that's kind of like lychee. And the whole thing outside, it's just like a really delicate, like little nest. And I think it's a little nest of noodles. That's amazing. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, the salted egg, but it's not so sweet, not so salty, more creamy. What's kind of mystifying me is, is, the, is the charcoal, bamboo charcoal flavor of, of that outer shell. It literally tastes like charcoal. It's a little bitter, it's smoky. It's like the perfect vessel for the salted egg and the fruit. And the thing with that is you put the whole thing in your mouth because you cannot cut it because the, the fruit is in the middle. So the salted egg is inside the fruit, which is kind of hollowed out in the middle. And then it's sitting in that little bird nest of charcoal. I think maybe like super thin noodles. And when you bite, down. As you crunch through that slightly bitter charcoal exterior, you reach the fruit, which is sweet. It's delicate. You bite through that, the juice oozes out, and then you hit the center. And that's just like a luxurious little pocket of melty, eggy gold. So basically what I'm saying is, yeah, you gotta go eat that. Alright guys, my, my time is literally up here, but this has been such a an experience. Like I mentioned before, coming in here, it's kind of like going into a fancy restaurant and them just handing you the menu and saying, go ahead, order whatever you want. And if you're only drinking tea like me, it's only 108 Singapore dollars per person. Now, the great thing about being in Singapore is that there's no tips. This, this is it. This is the final price. Now, guys, if you're in Vegas, you're going to the Bacchanal Buffet, that's going to cost you around $60 before tax, before tip. And as much as I love that place, the food is not made to order. You can't beat this place in terms of ambiance, in terms of service, in terms of food quality. And plus, the great thing is it's not just dim sum it's like a whole menu of stuff like that there's so many items i haven't even tried i feel so bad about leaving right now so to me 75 us dollars for this that's well worth it plus you get a laughter so if you're from singapore you haven't been here yet or you're taking a trip to singapore like me and you love all you can eat and you love dim sum guys you need to come here as always the information for this place is in my description box below and until we eat again I'll see you later because I'm just gonna sit here and look at all the stuff that I didn't get. Just food red crud everywhere. <laughs> gonna have to come back.